that good? Is that good enough for you, Tony? <laughs> Dad. Dad, do you want to take the car out tonight? You want to go blast it? You want to go blast it? Talk to the kids at the, the, the meet? You want to, want to take this by a little car car thing? Is there, is there a car show? Maybe. All right. We'll go, we'll, go, we'll go drive it around and see if we can get into some trouble. All right. Went right across it and zigged it all up in there.
know they had not their fault. You know they had families, and they used to race their cars, and we used to have a lot more fun because the, the racing was slower and more people raced. More people raced. We had so many people out there. Yeah, racing. but you can't go 13s all your life. You got to yeah, go faster. I know, I know. But then nitrous came out. And well, that guy with the, I beat him on Sierra Highway, you weren't there. I think I had John and uh, Dennis. And I was on Sierra Highway. That's where they closed the boulevard down. So we had to go to Palmdale to see if anybody would race, you know. And I was on Sierra Highway, and uh, the guy had his hood off, and he had those uh, velocity stacks. Pulled down from Avenue M, and I said, "Okay, boys, put your seatbelts on." <laughs> and I beat him. Yeah. And then uh, the next weekend, there was a Gulf gas station on Avenue I and 10th, and he worked there. And I parked my car because he had his car up on the on the lift, you know. And he was putting nitrous on. He yeah. goes, I want to race you. I said, you going to race me with nitrous? So I says, I don't give a damn. I'll race you. Got it? Your leg's tired? Yeah, shit. Tony, well, Tony, you figure 50 years of kicking carpet, your legs ain't going to hold out too much. All right, let's go in. You got it in the handicap. Yeah, that's fine. Ain't no one going to mess with it. I was racing. I, there were always somebody else's cars. 
blown Corvettes and stuff, you know. They could afford nothing like that. Yeah, my key is on the lights. I, I don't ever go I got a thousand dollars. I, I like the race. You know, that's my thing. <laughs> I'm not the head for you guys. You know, I just want for these guys. Not for those weirdos. No, no, I don't deal with those guys. I tell them you want to, you want to go Willow Springs. You got a couple of bucks. I'm Ron Velosi. Yeah, I was young racing. You know? Back in France before these were even out, you know. But uh, I never had a car that, that I drove for other people. Oh yeah, yeah. You're good at racing. I'm good at the lights. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the name of the game. <laughs> yeah, I raced it from '81 to '91. Oh wow. Ten years. All my three sons used to go with me when I raced. Cool man. Yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, Joe Mandela? Oh yeah. Anyway, he was great. <laughs> he was he was really a great guy, and all the racers used to bring their motors to him to do, you know. Oh yeah. So we were talking Italian, talking about our parents in Italy and stuff. So he called one of his guys over and he said, uh, "Give him one of my racing engines." <laughs> I got one of Joe Mandela's yeah, racing yeah, engines. Like it was 11, called a VO Twister. Yeah. And he yeah. used to run Oldsmobiles. So he was into the Oldsmobile thing, see? But uh, he was getting out of it. And he had a couple of motors there. And I got one of his racing engines. Boy, I put that thing in here. Man, that thing took off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, what does that sound like to you? It sounds like Tony in the bathroom the morning after lots of margaritas. That's what it sounds like. Great. They're really cool. I wish I could be like them. Nice to meet you. What was your time? How do they, how do they read that time? Uh, so many tenths of a second. What was? Did you ever? Excuse me, ma'am, do you have what? time for a huh? quick interview? Yeah. What are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony. <laughs> I'm uh, in Calabrese. Uh, yeah, I hope I see you out there Saturday nights. If you come out, it'll be a fun thing. Yeah. Where? Saturday night, where? Willow. Saturday, next Willow Saturday night at Willow. Willow Springs. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. some good Tony, cars you there, you know? Yeah. yeah. You can have some fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go out there. There's a lot of posers. Yes, there is. Yeah, I'll s see you guys later. I yeah. hope to see you out there, and I hope to see you here again another yeah. Saturday night. We always park over here and let the crazies do their thing, you know. Yeah, it seems safer yeah. over here. Seems yeah. a lot safer over here. All right, guys, take care, Bye. ladies, and you, sir. Yeah, I know. All right, man. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Maybe we'll see you Saturday. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time for an interview? Oh yes. What? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to Let's go. Well, what did you think of today's show? Uh, that we totally went and filmed for. I think that <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. Oh, seriously, it's, uh, it just, just goes back to the, the pyramid. This is the squid zone over there. The whole two hours is squid zone. All right. So what we have here, guys, we have the street race pyramid. We got several different zones, okay? So we're going to start you at the bottom. We got what's called the fun zone. This is your 10 second guys. This is your car show guys. This is you guys that go on a Saturday night and they get a hamburger. They go out and they race for 50 bucks and they go home and tell their wives how cool it was, okay? Directly above that, we have the serious zone. This is your guys in the seven, eight, and nine second range. These are you guys that are usually over 30 years old, usually have over $30,000 in their car. They go out and they race for money, okay? They weren't smart enough to stay down here in the fun zone. They wanted to bring it up here in the serious zone. You at any time might have a small tire car or a big tire car in the serious zone. Now above that, we have what's called the bad motherfucking zone. Very, very rare. That's why it's a small section of the chart. This is the six to seven second zone. This is somebody that came down here out of the serious zone, bumped their fucking head, spent way too much money and wound up in the four second in the eighth mile in the street and they wound up in the bad mother zone. Up here is a very small crowd. You've got guys like 
Armenian Tony, Big Chief, Chuck, Birdman, and JJ the Box. Rich Hoyle, very select crowd. At any one time, you have a guy down here in the fun zone thinking that he can beat somebody in the serious zone or the bad motherfucker zone. So what happens is, he graduates up the pie chart, gets slapped the f down, and falls all the way back down here in what's called the squid zone. Oh, what do you have in the squid zone right here? In the squid zone, you got all the guys that were in the fun zone that thought they were fast. You got a bunch of 16 to 25 year olds, Mustangs, Hondas, and Corvettes, spinning donuts, drinking beer, and being And assholes. roll racing. And roll racing. Um, now we're gonna go on the other side of it. Okay, this is your this is what we call the street race credit. So if you're in the squid zone, you got zero credit. Means you're sold. If you're in the fun zone, get a nice 10 second car, you might have about a 650 credit score. If I go score, but if you're doing it for years like Steve Gray. Yeah, if you're credit, if you're like Steve Gray, you're in the fun zone for a long time, you can wind up 800 plus credit score, okay? Most of your serious zone guys, you know, they can finance anything they want. They got good credit. They're in the same they kind of range. They're in the same one of these guys. Yeah, a good serious zone guy might wind up challenging one of the bad mother guys that's not having a good day, okay? Now, your bad mother zone, your very small category, they're 800 credit score, okay? These guys can buy anything. These are the guys that go out, they, they're ripping the wheels off the ground, they're blowing flames out of the pipes, um, you know, the Kai Kellys, the big Big balls. Cheese. Big balls, big balls, and big brains, okay? A lot of money, a lot of time. That's the street race pyramid. There's nobody, there's nobody left. There's nobody left. They all got chased away by the cops because they're squids. What happens when you have imports? It just breeds idiocy. <laughs> I'm out. Do you agree? They're nice people. They're really nice. <laughs> Vince. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, every, yeah. Well, when you have a car like this and everybody has a car, it's like, your, it's comradeship. Everybody mm -hmm. gets along, you know? Uh, these people here? Yeah. Now, we didn't do some crazy. See, we didn't do stuff like that fool mm -hmm. around. You know why? The business end was on the track. You didn't fool around like this. When you got to the track, that's where you did your thing. Right. Yeah, I never did any burnouts. I never did burnouts or anything. So, yeah, I used to park the car and then after midnight, would meet at H and 30th or F and 10th, and I'd beat them. <laughs> I never raced for money. I used to like the look on their face when I beat them. You know, there's a certain look on their face that you <laughs> can't imagine, because <laughs> they they beat everybody, and then when you go out there and beat them, they they have that funny look on their face. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was better than any money. Yeah, a lot of fun in this car. The 10 years was really a lot of fun. All right, we're out. Ow. And they're all tight. I haven't fallen out yet. Has Billy run yet? Where'd Billy go? Is Billy racing? Oh, Tess, wait. Damn. What? He's gonna have you do a pose for a thumbnail. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe not exactly like that, but yeah, close to that. Okay, thumbnails that Tony would approve of. Thumbnails that Tony would approve of. <laughs> hey, hey! Ah! You want more? No, well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good enough for you, Tony? <laughs> Jeez. Awesome. Now you're catching on. <laughs> if you had a car like this, you wouldn't have to pose like that, but since you have a Maverick, you gotta kind of out. You know. Ooh. You know what? I want to say things to you that I can't say to you in front of your dad.
That's the point. <laughs> it is. What's gonna happen if we get pulled over right now? You're gonna show your tits. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I sure the fuck. I'm it. not. Explain, explain why, why this is funny. What Wait, was just behind us? A cop? <laughs> is he still back there? He's coming after me. I need Tony. Nothing. There's no power to anything in the car. I'm just gonna get you with the trailer. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. I was trying to flag you down. Well, Nick was. There's no power at all. Like you started it up and then you shut it off and then nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing after I shut it off. There's no power. Your headlights don't work. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so there's nothing. A bad connection or something. Something. Like I've wiggled all the wires I can possibly wiggle. I'm totally lying to you. I'm at Nick's house. All right. I'm dropping Nick off. You being hot? You beating on it? I heard you no. were beating on it. No. You aren't really beating on it. Is it fun driving? Fun you like that shifter, huh? Okay. I didn't think I liked that shifter, but it's my favorite yeah. one. Now I've got to eat my words. Yeah. 